Hi everyone and welcome to a brand new series of The One Pot Chef. Today I'll be showing you a fantastic slice that both adults and kids love. Now it's so simple to throw together, it's only got a few ingredients and I guarantee you if you make this at your next party your friends will be begging for more. It's Rocky Road on The One Pot Chef. <music> Rocky Road. This is a very easy recipe and there's only a few steps to it. First things first, I have got a snaplock bag with about 15 cookies in it. It's just sweet plain biscuits. Now, don't put them into a food processor or anything like that because in Rocky Road we want to have a bit of consistency. So the best way to do it, rolling pin. Just give it a rough bash with a rolling pin. Don't go too crazy. You want to have some crumbs, some lumps. That's pretty much looking right there. As you can see, there's sort of larger chunks and there's little smaller chunks. That's pretty much what we're looking for. So we'll just set that aside for a minute and we'll start working on melting the chocolate. In our saucepan, I have melted together 375 grams of milk chocolate chips and 125 grams of unsalted butter. And basically it's just gone nice and liquid. We're going to allow this to cool off the heat and then we'll add the rest of our ingredients. Now I've let the mixture cool a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is add in our cookie crumbs or cookie mixture, the crunched up cookie bits. So they've gone in there. I'm also going to add one packet of glacé cherries, about 100 grams. Just toss them straight in. If you feel like being complicated, you can always take them out and dice them first, but can't really be bothered. And I'm putting in about 125 grams of mini marshmallows. Now you're probably thinking this is never going to mix all together. There's too much stuff, not enough chocolate. I promise you it will work because all you need to do now is just gently mix it together so everything gets nice and coated. It'll take a couple of minutes, but once everything's nice and coated, we can transfer it to our tray. Now it's just a matter of transferring this mixture into the tray. There's a few dry bits of the cookies there, but that's okay. They'll get absorbed into everything fairly soon. There we go. And it's just a matter now of Pressing the mixture into the tray, just using the spatula here, until it's all nice and even and smooth. So try to make sure everything's got a bit of an even distribution. You've got marshmallows all through it, you've got the cherries all through it. This looks pretty good to me. There we go, that's looking just about right. Now, all you need to do now is pop this straight into the freezer or the fridge, depending on how patient you are. I just put it into the fridge for about maybe 20 minutes to half an hour or so, just long enough for the chocolate to set. Well, I've just taken this out of the fridge and I've taken the liberty of cutting a slice just to show you what it looks like. As you can see, we've got the marshmallows and the cherries and the chocolate there, absolutely delicious. Now, so simple to throw together, literally only takes a few minutes and then just shove it into the fridge. I mean, it couldn't be simpler. Now, some of you may be thinking, how come you haven't put any nuts into this? Because that's a traditional ingredient in Rocky Road. Well, basically these days, there are a lot of people around who've got nut intolerances and food allergies and things like that. And I often, when I'm making something for a group of people, I try to err on the side of caution. So I've chosen to use the cookie crumbs and the crushed up cookies as opposed to using nuts. Of course, you're more than welcome to substitute and use nuts instead. But as I say, I just find it easier just to use the cookie crumbs because there's less chance of, you know, killing one of the guests. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this recipe. Check out my other recipes at youtube.com slash one pot chef show. And until next time, see you later.